Hello campers, how's everybody doing? Do you like my new Superman t-shirt? It just arrived today, I bought it off um, superherostuff.com like a month ago, over a month ago even, about six or eight weeks ago and um, it only just arrived today but uh, there's a slight problem it's it's actually as small as opposed to a medium so it's a bit tight I've emailed them, I said you know huh, what can you do? So we'll see. I'll probably just keep it on for today and then take it off afterwards. I mean, I'm not wearing it for long. It's, it is rather, it is pretty tight. Good job I've lost weight. <laughs> anyway, so um, you may have all noticed that last week I didn't do a review for uh, No Ordinary Family. Um, all I'm going to say is Smallville and engagement. It really upset me, so we're not going to go there. I'll just, I'll just pass it on. Anyway, tonight's episode, or rather last night's episode, of which I've just watched tonight, um, was No Ordinary Accident. And this is this was quite a really good I I episode. There were a lot of comic book references in this. Superman, Iron Man, there's a bit of Batman in there as well. It was it was really good. Um, <clears throat> few things that happened in this episode. Um, Stephanie, um, well, Jim, for some unknown reason, starts to lose his powers. Um, we're trying to figure out why he's lost his powers. What what could have caused it? You know, there's Kate researching why how how that's happened. Um, so yes, yeah, Stephanie's got Katie finding out how Jim has lost his powers. What could be the cause of it? Checking his DNA against um, viruses and stuff. Um, turns out it's not a virus. It's something else that we, <laughs> you wouldn't you wouldn't really expect, but. As the episode progresses, you, you do tend, you do realise what what it was that made Jim powerless. Um, JJ gets caught hacking into the school computers. Now, seriously, I've got to ask you guys: How many of you have actually been in that position where you have actually hacked into the school or college or university computers, and you've done something really amazing, but it was so bad that you actually got caught? How many of you have done that? Because I've actually been. I when I was at college, I me and a group of other guys we always used to try and play doom on on the pcs at college it was awesome we never actually were able to to get it played because we would try and find out what the password was that the, the, that the staff were using to, to to get on to to allow us to install the software and uh, we managed to get one of it but we couldn't quite get the others because we were watching we would like slightly watch what they were typing but it never worked in the end. So yeah, we never really got Doom playing. <laughs> but seriously, I wanna know how many of you have done that. It'll be great. Um, but yeah, JJ does something similar and his teacher catches him. And um, But then an unfortunate accident happens to said teacher and then his life is pretty much hanging by the balance. Then JJ put, put, puts it among himself with his super brain. This guy is intelligent beyond belief. I would love to have a super brain now. I'm sorry, watching JJ, with all, with all these books and everything and reading, I just it, for me, I would just love to be like him right now. Um, but yeah, he suddenly comes up with the idea to save the teacher's life. Um, Jim and Stephanie are not too comfortable with it. Um, this, that, and the other. You know, the surgery that they're going to perform is 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 it is impossible, but it's more impossible in terms of human speed impossible. Whereas with Stephanie, with her fast speed ability she could pretty much do do the operation and you know it should be a success so that that particular section of the episode was pretty good I mean the best thing that Stephanie said to, to JJ was you know when I was picturing us you know having a bit of a family get together it was it was more on the line of mini golf as opposed to <laughs> you know saving a man's life here um, then um, then you've got Daphne I mean I love Daphne I really do adore Daphne a lot, but it's starting to grate on me that she's using her powers to get a boy's attention. You know, she she did this last week in in the last episode, No Ordinary Mobster, and this is where um, I thought to myself, she's going to try and use her powers just to get this guy to like her, and she does. You know, it comes to a head in in this episode where she 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 really wants this guy to like him. She likes she 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 wants this guy to like her, but she likes him. And it's like, well, what what can she do? She always try and use JJ as, a, you know, to help her out kind of thing. And you know, they go for sushi, even though she doesn't like sushi. She tells him that she speaks fluent Japanese, and yet she can't speak. She can't even put anything Japanese together. So it was all just to impress him. But in the end, she came clean. She told him um, because he was ready to break up with his girlfriend to be with to be with Daphne. When at the end of the day, Daphne was like, well, look, I'm not who you think I am. You know, and 
you know, it's better to be honest with yourself than to pretend to be someone else. And that's what that's the that's the thing that Daphne needs to realise now is that she can't go around and yes, she's got the super ability, but she can't keep going around using it to that extent, you know. Um, but that's like a typical teenage girl kind of thing to do. I mean, don't 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 get me wrong. I'm not saying that a lot of girls do it, but if you've got a, you know, if there's a guy that you're after, you would you would lie to to get get his attention, you know. And if the guy happens to be a geek like poor JJ, you know, he he would often get used by a girl for his ability because he's a geek. So it it's that it's that store that moral there is to say you know be truthful to yourself and then you'll be truthful to others it's as simple as that that's all it is that's all it is it's not it's not saying much um what else did we find yeah katie <laughs> last week's episode was quite interesting because um jj took it upon himself to um set up a profile on a dating website that katie is on and um this guy called will that he that he creates um she she wants to meet him for dinner jj doesn't know how to do it but then this guy that's been working with the um, the doctor, the Stephanie's boss, has is now is now actually you know Katie. As far as Katie's concerned, he is Will, but he's trying to get closer to Doctor Powell to investigate why she's looking into this dead Doctor Volson and his research that he did with this plant that they're that they're researching that's given Stephanie and her family the powers and everything. So obviously her boss knows a lot more about this plant than than he leads than he leads to believe. Um, so and whatever he injected that dude with at the end of the episode i'd like to know what it's done to him because i was quite interested um but the best thing about as i say this episode had a lot of comic book references especially with george telling J, uh, jim about superman and his fortress of solitude you need somewhere to vacate because even superman vacates for three days of the week and it's true he does you know he goes to the solid fortress and he you know he just relaxes there that's what he does has time to think time to relax and de-stress whatever and that's what Jim needs but um, Jim's like I don't need a fortress no um, then there was the other reference of uh, kryptonite obviously kryptonite was brought in this is where Jim has lost his powers because it was actually the lipstick or the lip gloss that Stephanie has been using this new lip gloss that she's been using and um, that's what got Katie realizing because her and Will kissed and then that's when it hit her it's like <gasps> kiss that was it that was all it was and I was like damn you go girl and I tell you what right seriously I want to date someone like Katie she is geeky beyond belief and she's so she's so hyperactive it's amazing oh my god please somebody uh, all right okay what I want is a woman like Katie she's gonna be geeky she can like Superman she can like Batman as long as she reads DC comic books likes computers internet all that sort of stuff redhead would be a bonus but hey someone like katie i'm happy with that'll be fine but anyway that's it from now on i shall see you all next week for a new episode and um yeah see you later